Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Now in today's tutorial we're going to go over making a glass material using the material tab. So in the previous tutorials we're using the material tab to change the kind of color of the object. Uh, we went over uh, UV mapping for uh, textures and images but we really haven't gone in depth into the material tab. Uh, and some of the options that it has. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to use our default cube. So we're going to zoom in a little so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to hit Alt left mouse button to kind of rotate around. And we're going to go into edit mode. Now we're going to hit face select. And then we're going to select the front three faces that we can see here. So I'm going to hit A to deselect everything shift right mouse button on these three faces here hit x and then hit faces just to delete just the faces all right that's done so i'm going to go hit tab go back into object mode view top i'm going to correct the view i'm just hitting numpad five you can also do it right there and i'm going to go into camera view all right, so we can see uh, right here we have kind of a chopped up cube. We're going to hit the R key, hit the Z key to rotate it, as you can see on that line there. And we're going to turn it towards the camera. I'm going to make this a little bit larger by hitting S. And the G key to move it to the, right, the center. Okay, there we have what we need. All right, so let me explain why I did this. So we're going to make a glass material, like I said before, and uh, in a second I'm going to add a UV sphere, and that's what we're going to have our glass material on. Now, when we open up Blender, there's really nothing there but a default cube. There's nothing behind it, nothing below it. Uh, it's basically this empty space. So if we were to put a UV glass uh, sphere, uh, there would be nothing to kind of like shine through from, you know, you look through a glass, you see something on the other side, um, if it's transparent enough, but right here there's nothing on the other side, so you basically wouldn't really be able to see the glass. Uh, so we're just kind of adding a uh, background uh, to the uh, scene, and that's what we'll uh, kind of show through on the other side. So from there... We are going to go back into view and top view and we are going to basically put a UVC right in the middle of this. So our cursor looks, our 3D cursor looks like it's about in the right place. So we're just going to add UV sphere and I already typed it in. So you would just go add UV sphere and click on that. All right. So the G key and I'm moving it up just a little bit just to kind of center it in our little scene here. So with that done, we're gonna go over to view, camera, and let's center it a little bit more, move it up a little bit. All right, so now we're actually gonna smooth out this UV sphere and then apply the actual material. So this part was just the setup. So let's go view, top, uh, make sure the UV sphere is selected, T, shading smooth, smooth out the UV sphere, hit T to make that disappear, then go over here to the material tab, click uh, this new button, and we're actually going to name this material here. This is a good, uh, I haven't really showed you this before, but uh, it's a good idea to m name uh, materials and meshes and objects just so it's a little bit more organized. So we're just going to name this glass and you can see uh, its name changed up there. So, from there we're gonna go uh, down and as you can see our previews uh, set right where we need it. It's a sphere in the preview area and we're working with the sphere so that's perfect. All right, so we have our diffuse uh, options. Uh, we really don't need to change anything uh, right there. So we can just go ahead and collapse uh, this tab right here. All right, we have our specular options. 
Um, so we actually need to uh, change this a little bit. I'm just going off of uh, some values that uh, worked uh, for me that I've been using uh, to make glass materials. So just follow along and type in the uh, values that I do. You might want to play around with these d different options and kind of tweak it how you want it. So in the uh, intensity uh, category here, we are going to move that up to uh, one. Um, then we are going to change this where it says hardness right here. We're going to change that to four, seven, three. And basically kind of takes in a little less, less light than normal. You can see the preview uh, up here. Uh, we're really done with the specular uh, tab, so we can just close that up. All right, we have the shading properties. Uh, there's really nothing we need to do there, so close that. We are doing something in transparency, so make that bigger. That's usually collapsed by default. Click the transparency checkbox, and then click ray trace. Now, we're going to have to change a bunch of options in here. So what we have to do first is we have to uh, decrease the alpha to 0. So basically, alpha is kind of like uh, well the transparency level. So uh, you can see right through a glass. Uh, so you would want to change that to 0. So uh, just watch the preview window up here as I kind of change it to show you uh, how that option has an effect. Um, as you can see, the object's fully visible, fully there, uh, but when we hit it, we bring it all the way to like halfway, it's like halfway visible, and zero is not visible at all. All right, so we wanna change that to zero. Now from there, uh, we want to turn this option here that says I O R you want to change that to 1.55 alright with that selected you can see it's starting to look uh, like some glass and then we want to go down here and change this depth to 7 uh, with that selected we want to find this fractional option uh, and we just want to change that to 5. And then after that, we want to uh, look for another option. So let's go ahead and close this right here because we've done everything that we needed to. So we're going to click mirror, click this checkbox right here, and expand that. So when you look at a glass, um, you don't go straight through. If you look really carefully, you can see a little bit of reflection uh, back at you. So we're going to change the reflection, I mean the mirror object, um, or the mirror option. And so we're going to add, um, our, make sure our depth is 2. Then we want uh, the reflectivity to be 0.15. And we want to change our fractional to 5 again. Hit enter. And that should do. And then uh, the rest of the options uh, should be fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and collapse them. All right, so this is our preview of what the material should look like uh, when it's done. So let's go ahead and go back to view, camera. And we're actually going to turn on ambient inclusion so this looks a little bit better. And environmental lighting. All right. So we hit render image. And uh, as a side note, if you're doing anything with glass uh, or anything like that, it will take a while longer uh, to render. Uh, that's just because it has to calculate uh, the light beams kind of bouncing off the uh, background and how it interacts with the glass and so it takes a lot longer 
uh, to render something like this. All right, well, this is our completed uh, effect. We have uh, what looks like a glass ball uh, in the middle of our cutout cube. So you can use this material here on anything, whether it's uh, a glass bottle, or if we want to uh, make a glass window, we can tweak the settings uh, and make some uh, glass for what you need. Like I uh, showed you in the append tutorial, if you haven't watched that yet, if you don't want to go ahead and set all these settings in here, uh, follow the append tutorial and you can just import this glass material into any one of your scenes and apply it to your object. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe or join our Facebook group, uh, which is Super 3 Boy Blender Tutorials. There's a link in the video description. Well, I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial, and happy blendering!